It's been one of the strangest and craziest years most anyone can remember, but we weren't about to let it dampen our Christmas spirits, so a gathering with neighbors and friends on Christmas Day was just what we all needed to help close the door on 2020. There is no denying that food, fun and games, and laughter is always the best medicine. Throw in a game of Dirty Santa at the end, and we had a very enjoyable day. But another family didn't fare so well in the end as their large family gathering got busted and disrupted, which you will see later in the video. So sit back and enjoy a little bit of the holiday season with us. And as always, thanks for watching. the day after Christmas and time to walk off some of that good food we had a little windy you might get some camera noise here but which way do we go that way this way high tide so oh, can't go that way gotta go this way pretty windy today here at the beach so we're gonna walk up through the park but it's the day after Christmas we had our share of food and fun and games yesterday with some friends at the condo Today, the plan is to burn out some calories, right? Yeah. <laughs> Eat too much food. Eat too much food. But it was a good Christmas. It, I know it's probably hard on many, many people around the world being separated from their family and loved ones. Uh, we're just thankful that we had a Christmas. I had some friends to share it with. So we're back to back to a normal routine. Well, now we got New Year's coming up, but after that, it'll be uh, we'll be looking forward to 2021 and hopefully a, a much better year. Uh, some news that we've received uh, recently. Hope this wind ain't tearing things up. But we found out that the uh, the quarantine requirement on our basketball court back in the Brongai has been eliminated. Um, 
still have to jump through all them hoops and as far as getting a health certificate bronchi guy clearance the local government clearance and bronchi guy clearance but the good thing is we would be able to quarantine at home for what 14 days, 14 days. that's the good thing the bad thing is I can't go shopping I'm restricted because of my age in some stores other places we'd have to wear a mask and face shield and a face shield which don't get me started on that one uh, where are we going uh, See this one? This one. Go in and anyway, come back. we're going to take a stroll here through the park and it seems like there's a few people out here today <laughs> relaxing and unwinding so we're just making the best of a down day in any case if I don't put together another video between now and the end of the year I guess I'm going to sign off by saying we wish you all a happy holiday season a safe and happy holiday season and a happy new year too and a happy new year i'm not sure if that's an arcacia tree or not looks like it but it's all by itself Sometimes I'm amazed at the uh, some of the big trees here in Guam, like that one way down there. I think it's huge. This one's pretty big too. But they seem to survive some of the toughest storms that this part of the world gets. They're just massive trees. I guess they're strong enough to take it. No difference than in the Philippines because in the Philippines there's some massive trees. Uh, that survive storm after storm after storm. That's a good thing. Oh, and, uh, we just walked up on a family of crabs. It's like they're having a party. Maybe it's Christmas Day for crabs. These are uh, some big crabs. Let's see if I can get this guy here. He probably try to come at me. Oh. All right, go ahead. Merry Christmas, little guys. And big guys. This guy's heading back to the jungle. I don't want no piece of you guys. Family gathering. More than 15. That should be illegal, right, hon? <laughs> it's a big tree. If you were a kid, you could not pass it up. You'd have to climb it. All kinds of twisting branches and Make a good treehouse tree. This will be a good treehouse tree here.
signing out from Guam.